don't even know what's going to happen next. Tell another Polish joke? No, we're not going to tell another Polish joke. We're going to go to the mod mod world and take a look at pollution. Got to be some solution to pollution. Got to be something brilliant we can do. The rivers are getting muddy and the air is becoming cruddy. It's no wonder that everybody's turning blue. Yeah. There must be a way to freshen up the sewers. Let's hurry and deodorize the sun. The roads will begin to glitter when we burn up a load of litter. Now let's pucker and blow away a bit of smog. Polluted water can really hurt you. If you don't drink or swim or sail, that dirty ozone will never kill you. Breathe out, but don't inhale. Sure to write us from the house of hepatitis. Smoker in the head. There's got to be some solution to the problem of pollution, or we might as well be dead. The land is a mess, the lakes are a soft. No wonder we're hollering, what a dog! Industrial waste is turning us off. Why, even my pipi is starting to cough. Good, the police are looking around before they stop throwing their lunch on the ground. The dirt and the trash are really obscene, but keeping America clean. The parkway is the rents and rivers, the really filthy sweet and snow. What of the fishes? What of the birds? What of the Walter Buffalo? A dozen roses for your mononucleosis. Let's hit it, America! Let's take all the cars and push them off the highways. The litter bug gets a spider in his bed. There's got to be some solution to the problem of pollution. Wrap up your refuse. We might as well be dead. Put out your garbage. <laughs> we might as well be dead. Keep it never discriminates, regardless of race, creed, or color. <coughs> Mayor Yorty of Los Angeles announced today that uh, he and the city council plan a, an extensive investigation into the smog problem here. They're going to do that, of course, the moment they can locate City Hall. Horton <laughs> from the future, 20 years from now, 1988. The Mississippi River today clogged with industrial waste and came to a complete stop. Informed of this, the president of the National Association of Manufacturers offered a suggestion, which was dear of him. He says, don't think of it as losing a river. Think of it as gaining a highway. <laughs> All day I searched the barren wastes in hope of finding Pittsburgh. <laughs> Ohio in our continuing search for people with interesting occupations. Just how long have you been with the Department of Sanitation, sir? Oh, I ain't with the Department of Sanitation, lady. I, I'm a lifeguard at Lake Erie. <laughs> so. Queen Isabella. I go now and find a new way to the Indies. OK, Columbus. But when you get to the edge, throw this garbage over, will you? Dan Rowan here in Newark Airport in Newark, New Jersey, talking to Major Sonny Golden, who has just returned from a successful moonshot. Major, what stands out most in your memory about your trip? Well, one thing I'll never forget is, far as the eye can see, yeah. 
An enormous wasteland, unfit for any kind of life. And that's the first thing you saw when you landed on the moon? No, 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 that's when I landed in New Jersey. <laughs> Any luck today? Yep. I caught my limit. Hello, Judy Kahn, your girl on the go, here in Center Bluff, Ohio, a town facing a grim future. Total extinction from industrial waste and noxious gases emanating from the factory on the north edge of town. Here with me is Mr. Keith Priscelli, a worker at the factory. Tell me, uh, yeah. Keith. Yeah, lady. Suppose you tell our viewers exactly what's happening here. Well, you see, ladies, like this, the factory is belching poison, you know what I mean? Into the air. Every day, every night, all day, seven days a week. You see all that smoke over here? They got us a 94.8 on the air pollution scale. <clears throat> yes, I can see that. Yeah. I imagine Center Bluff must be up in arms against the factory workers. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, the entire town is dependent on the factory and everybody works here. Well, uh, what do you do here, anyway? Well, we make uh, smart control devices. <laughs> okay, everybody. Let's start our morning exercises. First, let's take a deep breath of air. <gasps> <laughs> I'm simply fed up with all this talk about water pollution. Well, it is a problem, dear. In fact, I just came across an article that proves it. Oh, yeah? Where? Right here in my suit. <laughs> yes? Oh, hello. I'm here to ask you a few questions on the pollution problem. Oh. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I take the pill. <laughs> Let's take all the cars and push them off the highways. The little bug gets a spider in his bed. There's got to be some solution to the problem of pollution, or we might as well be dead. Clap up your refuse. We might as well be dead. Put out your garbage. Well, that's more like it. They really told it like it is about air pollution. And I hope it made an impression on you. Well, I'm sure it would. Now, what are you personally going to do about air pollution? Hmm. 